And Street Force Moortown neighborhood, a stop the violence rally ends abruptly after a shootout near the event. Tonight, organizers say the gunmen will not end their efforts to help the community. And the chaos that unfolded during a show of peace and solidarity was captured on camera. See what I mean? Cameras were rolling Sunday when shots rang out during a Stop the Violence event at Moortown's Community Garden. Pastor Kenneth Thompson organized a rally and says it was supposed to be a time for prayer. Why are we in the midst of a stop the violence? The devil is busy. He don't want you. And suddenly, things took an ugly turn with gunfire. We was out here for a stop the violence, and God allowed that to happen so that we can see the need to stop the violence. You see, it had to be just on display to show that there is a need. Ruby Small was at Sunday's rally and watched things unfold. Right over there, I could see the man leaning out of the car with the with the gun and shooting it. I could see the fire coming out of it. Small lives right next to the garden and says this type of gun violence isn't anything new to this community. Last week, I had to hit the ground in my backyard. I have an autistic 14-year-old son that can't talk. It's not easy to tell him to get down, and he's six feet. I'm pulling him down to the ground with me. But Small wants the gunman to know she isn't backing down and will continue standing up to protect this neighborhood. Nobody can stop me with a bullet or anything else. Pastor Thompson agrees, and despite what happened, he says the work will continue. Every single day we do absolutely nothing. Potentially tomorrow or this evening, someone else can kill or be killed. Police were called out to the incident, and if you have any information, call Crime Stoppers.